So, guys who have buses, who travel, we're always looking for ways to get around. Now, you could tow a car behind you, you can rent a car, you could carry a trailer with a car and a motorcycle like I do. Uh, but it's always been the dream to be able to carry something you can drive inside the bus. So I'm here at SEMA 2018 in Las Vegas, and I came across something that is just the coolest thing ever. I want to show you this. Let me flip the camera around. This thing is called an Ice Bear Jeep. And, and, and is there a particular name for it, GT125? Uh, no, that was my, it's, it's, we call it the Thunderbird, but most people just call it the Jeep. Or the Jeep. I mean, you know, obviously we can't call it a Jeep, because Jeep is, right, right. but the little military one is the coolest. So what am I looking at here? It's like a go kart. Wait, what's the what's the engine inside here? Yeah, so probably it's got a uh, it's a Chinese product. Um, you know, and, uh, it's been pretty good for us. The the motor is a 125 cc four stroke, based off a Honda motor. Uh, it's pretty reliable. I've been with the company for a little over two years now, and not to sales pitch it, but uh, we haven't really had much problems. With it. Most people just take them out and put them around, and like jump them, not doing crazy stuff. So we're just you know, for just having fun on them. I mean, they're really reliable. Oh, I'm talking to Kevin here. He works here at Ice Bear. I was just rolling by, and I saw these things, and I said, oh, my God, that looks like it would fit perfectly in the bay, storage bay of a Prevo XL or one of the other ones. And so I'm looking. Let me flip the camera around. It looks to me like you could you could remove you or could take down. I could actually. Would you like to demonstrate? Yeah, sure. It's just like a real, a real military Jeep. You could just fold that thing down. How about the steering wheel? Is it removable? It is. So, when you buy it, does it come in a crate and you got to assemble it? Yes. Okay. Unless you got a viewer and uh, set up one of So, you know, you could fold this down. Yep. Man, that's the trick. So, I'm just judging. I don't think that's higher than 36 inches. Yeah, I, I think it's good. And if you really, really wanted to pull this, if you really wanted to, I'm sure you could remove this right here Actually, and this. Oh my God! Really? Oh, that's even. Let me yeah. let me take a look at that. Sure. Wow. Yeah, we got a reflection here. There we go. So okay, so it's. Wow, it's only 29 tall. 35 and a half wide. 70, wow, this thing would fit in a Prevo XL bay, in your average bus bay. Just get yourself a little ramp. Now, is it? <clears throat> I was asking you this a minute ago. Is there a way to make this thing street legal in any particular places? I, it, 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 I think it just would be depend on your particular state. And what Depends, you know, because it's got headlights. Yeah, it's got headlights. Does it actually have turn signals, or they just light up? No, they, they are. Like they actually blink. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Is there no battery on that no one? No battery. But anyway, it's, I see that it has lights. Which look like a couple of 1156s, they're just bulbs, you know. Now here's something too. It's got a little replica jerry can in there. Oh wow. And you know, you could actually put it. You could actually put anything in there. Your favorite beverage. Oh yeah. <laughs> just fill that up with vodka. Just fill that up. Now what's the speed of this thing? How fast does um, it go? You could probably do about 35. 35? Yeah. It's like literally as fast as an actual Willys. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people they're, they're kind of like puppies. You yeah. One of these out here, and people just, what is that thing? And they, they gather. I love it. I mean, it's it's awesome. Now, what's one of these going to retail for? Uh, twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty. So a little under three grand. So that's that's retail. So dealers might, you know, give you a little break on it, I suppose. And if I, if I may add, we have the, the traditional military colors, but we're also kind of getting into some civilian looks. Yeah, I'm. All my Harley fans are going to love this black and orange look here. Any Harley guy who goes to a rally who's already carrying a motorcycle could fit this in the bay of his bus, and this would be the greatest thing for driving around in a car show or at Sturgis, Bike Week Daytona. I'm sure it probably gets like 100 miles a gallon or yeah. something, right? You know? Yeah. You know, even, even I can see this at a Harley, Harley dealer. You know, everybody oh, absolutely. Take this it out to get lunch or get coffee. Now, Ice Bear makes some cool little motorcycles. These are, uh, and I don't think you make any, uh, you know, <clears throat> Let's be honest, we're man of action. You, you make basically Chinese replicas of yeah. well-known, uh, yeah. you know, Honda motorcycles. Because <laughs> I was looking at the uh, Ice Bear Mad Dog, which yeah. is a ruckus. But the thing about the ruckus, 
is, I think it only goes, what, uh, it goes like 30 miles an hour, but yours is yeah. faster. Well, we have a 50 and a 150. Yeah, you have, you have a 150, yeah. and, and it, it's, it's already like chopped. Yeah. And I was looking at one of those to put in the bay of my bus because it's it's low, you could fit it in, you can lay, lay it over, and that's a street legal bike that you can go down the road. Yeah. These little trail bikes. Now, can I tell you something about this? Yeah, yeah, you know, I know a little bit about these because I broke my knee on one of these when okay. I was 13. So I'm hobbling around now because of that. Yeah, I love these old bikes. I actually have a 71 at home in my garage. Mm -hmm. But what's cool about this one is if you want to get into one of these bikes, um, you can look Craigslist anywhere. You can find an old one beat up, mm -hmm. probably two grand. Then you're going to spend another two grand to restore it. Then you can have a nice old classic bike that you don't want to take anywhere. This thing, I think it retails for 50 and change. It's and like 1500 bucks. Yeah, you're getting a brand new bike. It's got a better motor, a 125cc motor with a four speed. It's kind of modern, up to date. Um, How fast does this thing go? I'm not sure, but this pulls me. I weigh 230 pounds. It pulls me around, no problem. It says it goes 80. I doubt it. Yeah, yeah I weigh 240, you know. Okay. I, w I did weigh 230, but then I started eating in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, you know, this is a great little bike that you yeah. could. You could lay it down, you know, on a blanket, and it'd probably be all right. Oh, yeah. yeah, these fold down like the original. Wow. And this is basically just a kind of a recast of a Honda motor, I yeah. guess. So it'd be like a Trail 70 or something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, listen, you just need something to scoot around on. And this you can make street legal. It's got a yes, license yeah, plate adapter as a motorcycle. But the Jeep, I mean, you can carry both of these in a bay, probably. Yeah, I think so. This thing is just the best, you know. A lot of people who drive the um, the buses are older people, mm -hmm. and they just need something they can scoot around in. Yeah, and both these vehicles are semi-automatic, so clutch. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no clutch or anything. All right, where, where do we, where would we find one of these? How do we buy one? Um, get onto our website and give us a call, and we can find. A, a All right, I'll dealer. put that in the link. Okay, and we can find a dealer in your area. We'd be happy to help you out. Man, these are really cool. The Ice Bear Power Sport. What's it officially called? Uh, the Thunderbird. Thunderbird. The Thunderbird. Cool. Thanks.